In this part, we'll be discussing about the manifestations of vitamin A deficiency. So, vitamin A deficiency can be manifested in two ways. One way is the by the ocular uh, signs, and another way is by the extraocular manifestation. So, let's discuss firstly about the ocular signs. So, vitamin A deficiency can be presented as night blindness. This night blindness is a condition in which person has inability to see the see at uh, uh, see well at night or in poor light. The second condition is conjunctival xerosis. Uh, it is a condition in which the conjunctiva appears dull and dry due to vitamin A deficiency and also some slight wrinkling can be there in the conjunctiva. Third one is bitots spot. The bitots spots are triangular, dry, foamy, whitish uh, kind of uh, lesions which are mostly located in the temporal region of the uh, uh, eyes. The fourth condition is corneal xerosis. Again, this corneal xerosis is the dryness and cloudiness of the corneal part of the eye. The fifth condition is keratomalacia. Keratomalacia is an eye disorder that involves the uh, corneal part of eye and it causes drying and clouding of the cornea. Let's uh, discuss about some extraocular manifestation due to vitamin A. So, first one is follicular hyperkeratosis. Uh, this is a condition uh, where uh, there is development of keratin. Keratin uh, over the uh, hair follicles, around the hair follicles and ultimately uh, it causes creation of the bumps over the uh, skin. Next condition is anorexia, is decrease or loss of appetite. It also causes re growth retardation of in the children and also there is increased susceptibility to respiratory and intestinal infection in the children. Supplementing with excessive amount of vitamin E, it also causes uh, toxicity which is known as hypervitaminosis A. But this hypervitaminosis A is a rare condition. It has been found that worldwide approx 200 cases of hypervitaminosis A uh, is uh, recorded annually. This hypervitaminosis is manifested in different way in children and women. So in children, uh, it can be manifested as loose stools, headache, fever, irritability, nausea, vomiting, but these all kind of side effects can resolve by their own without any specific treatment within the 24 to 48 hours. In women, this hypervitaminosis uh, can also be manifested and high dose of vitamin A is strictly avoided in during the pregnancy. It can uh, cause the teratogenic effect on the newborn baby. It means there may be some birth defect can be there in the neonate. But uh, this vit vitamin A can be safely provided to the woman after the postpartum period within the six weeks of the delivery. And this uh, administration of this vitamin A at this duration provides an opportunity to improve the vitamin A contents of their breast milk which uh, is secreted in their breast milk and uh, this vitamin A goes to the uh, newborn child and protects against the vitamin A deficiency. One of the beneficial effect of vitamin A supplementation has been found among the uh, postpartum uh, uh, ladies. Uh, this improves their quality of sleep and they, ha they have a more sound sleep during uh, uh, their postpartum period after supplementing with vitamin A. Let's see some contributive factors of vitamin A deficiency. 
so poverty and ignorance in of our country is one of the major factor of vitamin a deficiency our community is consuming inadequate amounts of vitamins in their diets it is also found that there is very low consumption of animal sources like milk and eggs there is evidence uh, evidence of food rich uh, rich in beta carotene it is one of the also a major cause of vitamin deficiency there is inadequate intake of vitamin a in uh, women during their pregnancy and lactation also there is some superstitions and uh, lack of awareness in our community that's why there is one practice of discarding of colostrum and this colostrum is a very rich source of vitamin a so uh, we must generate the awareness among the community so that they should not discard this colostrum which is a rich source of vitamin a let's see some sources of vitamin a so sources of vitamin a has been divided broadly into three categories first one is plant sources second one animal and third is dairy sources in plant sources it is mainly of uh, uh, mainly composed of vegetables and fruits so carrots broccoli sweet potatoes spinach collard greens pumpkins are the vegetables having rich source of vitamin some fruits like apricots papaya mango oranges are rich source of vitamin a in animal sources fish egg meat and fish liver oil are the rich source of it uh, rich sources of animal origin out of this vita fish liver oil has been found to be a, one of the richest source of vitamin a coming to the sources from the dairy products so milk milk products like butter cheese are the rich source of vitamin a coming to the recommendations based on the present scenario of vitamin a and its deficiency so it has been recently suggested that india uh, is uh, at current stage where universal vitamin a supplementation should be transited through a targeted supplementation program which we are already following here we are targeting the uh, age group 9 months to 5 years for vitamin a supplementation and also we need to primarily focus on the sustainable food based approaches means the food sources which are rich source of vitamin a uh, should be produced and should be consumed by the uh, community to fulfill the vitamin a deficiency we'll, we need also to motivate people about the horticulture so that they can locally produce the green leafy vegetables and uh, other uh, plant foods and as well as some fruits which are rich source of vitamin a so that uh, this vitamin a deficiency can be taken care of apart from that home gardening uh, can be uh, uh, one of the important point to be uh people must be aware so that uh, they can produce the vitamin a rich vegetables and fruits in their uh, kitchen gardens and uh, we can also give them some effective nutrition communication about the uh, home gardening as well as we can also uh, couple this nutritional communication with behavioral change communication so that they can implement uh, this practically in their locality as a medium term st uh, strategy fortic fortification of the foods which are commonly consumed by the community by the vitamin a can be motivated the most common foods which can be fortified are ghee vanaspati sugar and soybean oil 
this uh, sources of uh, food uh, is already been fortified by the various countries with vitamin a we can also motivate the community about the consumption of green leafy vegetables and fruits which are the resource of vitamin a as well as also resources of folate vitamin c iron calcium and many other micro nutrients thanks for watching this video if you have any feedback please uh, comment on this uh, video and also like and share this video to your friends thank you